In this video, I will be talking on the Move Tools JavaScript library. Also, at the end of the presentation, I will write a small piece of code which will make use of library to do something. Last few days, when I was evaluating few JavaScript frameworks available on the web, which are free and open for developers, it was my finding that each one of them targets a different set of audience and is good in something compared to the other. jQuery, no doubt, is one of the best available JavaScript framework today in the market. But there is one more JavaScript framework called MoTools, which in fact made me to believe that jQuery is not the only best framework available. I'm a big fan of jQuery, but nothing stopped me to see what MoTools had to offer. What is MoTools then? By definition from the site, MoTools is a compact, modular, object-oriented JavaScript framework designed for the intermediate to advanced JavaScript developer. It allows you to write powerful, flexible, and cross-browser code with its elegant, well-documented, and coherent API. Now, what can you do with this framework? Well, you can access traverse HTML elements, types, use the browser functionalities and requests. You can use the utility functions. You can write your own add-ons as well. You can provide effects and animations to your elements and pages. Also, you can do more than what you were doing earlier with any other JavaScript framework. When I say it's a JavaScript library, the next question comes to your mind is, what browsers MooTools are compatible with? Well, MooTools is compatible and fully tested with Safari 3 and above, Internet Explorer 6 and above, Firefox 2 and above, and Opera 9 and above, and even Chrome 4 and above. So here are the links for the MooTools library. For the website, you can visit at uh, MooTools.net. And for the demos, you can go to mootools.net slash demos. And if you want to see some documentation, you can go to mootools.net slash docs slash code. I would show you a few mootools example and how to use, but at this end of the video. Now, you would say, well, all the animations, effects, utils are available through jQuery. Why do I need one more framework? And the big question is, when should I use it? Believe me, there is nothing to debate, let us compare. By definition, jQuery is a fast and concise JavaScript library that simplifies HTML document traversing, event handling, animating, and AJAX interactions for rapid web development. jQuery is designed to change the way that you write JavaScript. MooTools is a compact, modular, object-oriented JavaScript framework designed for the intermediate to advanced JavaScript developers. That's not all, but it is clear enough, right? The takeaway from the definitions are jQuery is for rapid web development, like uh, simple and easy for everyone. jQuery is made for HTML document traversing, handling events, animations, and AJAX. Coming to MooTools, the takeaway is MooTools is powerful, yes. MooTools is for intermediate to advanced developer. MooTools has well-documented API. Based on the third and fourth points above, you can decide on which to use in your application. It's still not clear enough, right, the difference. Let's see some more things jQuery has a edge over jQuery is a bit less sized, say by 10 to 15 KB compared to MooTools. jQuery has more plugins than MooTools, yes. jQuery is more popular and has a big community. Also, jQuery has an official UI library, but MooTools doesn't have one. And jQuery is fast and easy to learn. These are the advantages we have in jQuery. And compared to MooTools. But by now you are very sure that jQuery has edge over MooTools. 
let's hold on there are few things even motools has jquery doesn't focus on the things outside of the dom but motools does jquery is for people who have developed a style of uh, get an element in html and do something the scope is limited to dom what it means is being a programmer when you use jquery dom is the scope or the playground but if you are using motools the whole javascript is the playground now all of a sudden there is a reason now for people to use motools isn't it one more thing the jquery doesn't address inheritance clearly motools does remember by definition motools is more object oriented motools focuses on both dom and entire javascript you can do in motools what you do in jquery and and much more what jquery cannot do that's the point maybe when it comes to the dom jquery has more utility helper methods than motools that i agree let us take two functions and see let us see a function of jquery below and the same function when i convert it to motools i would have this one now when you compare i agree that motools code more motools take a bit more lines of code but observe that this improves readability which is more readable now hover or mouse enter mouse leave in motools also you can use chaining patterns do animations extend the inbuilt classes and what not you can do all the things which you can do with jquery now let us see how to use motools before anything else i will download motools library first go to motools home page now click on the download link from the left click on the link to download motools library save it it is just 143 kb in size and here it is now from the visual studio create a new website project select asp.net as a website and provide a name for your new website click okay a new project is being created in this demo i'll show how to create a menu using html and css and i'll use motools to create the hover effect for the links okay the project got created now the first step is to add motools library to the solution this is the one i have downloaded i'll uh, copy the library and i'll paste it in visual studio then we should add a motool script reference to the default page i'll do that by dragging it and dropping it between the head tags now change the page title to motools demo now we shall add a ordered list for the menu i'll enter the tag ul not ordered list i'll give an id as navbar now add some list items i'll uh, add six items i'll copy it and paste it
Now we need a hyperlink for each menu item. Add a hyperlink tag for each of them. Note that we do not have any pages to link, so we shall give hash as the href in this example so that uh, nothing happens when user clicks on it. We will copy the same to all six uh, list uh, items. Here we go. And let us give some text for the links. Home. Oh, I added in a wrong place. I'll copy it back. Home about profile services products contact I'll format it okay now let us see how it looks in browser view in browser you can see the unordered list with the links but uh, it doesn't look good yet so let us go back to the Visual Studio and uh, add some styles to make it look better. As a first step, I will add a style tag inside the head. Here we go. we shall have a common font style for entire page so let us specify it for the body tag in my case I will set the font to bold and I will have 12 pixel size and I like to use Vardana font let us specify it for the unordered list we have a id navbar already to style the list items, we can use the same ID and create a new CSS class as navbars for each list item. I'll give the list style to none. And I don't want any margin for the navbar list item, so I'll set it to zero. 